Hey guys, this is George from Georgia. I do the Khan Academy videos in Georgian. I mean, I redo the Khan Academy videos in Georgian, but whatever. So I've decided to do this tutorial where I'll share some of my tips and tricks that I've acquired over the years and show you my working process, how I, how I do the videos, how I redo them, um, so on and so forth. And also I've decided to briefly go through all of the uh, equipment and the software that I use. So this first part will, will be only about that. So if you're all set, if you have all of the equipment and you're just ready to record the videos, then I think you can skip this one, but you could watch it just in case. It'll be a short video, I think. So well, so let's just get, get to it. Um, the first one is Camtasia or Camtasia Studio. It's a software that helps me record the screen and my voice. This is the one I'm using right now. Um, so if you download this, this is how it looks like. And mostly the thing I use, the, the functionality that I use is just record the screen. I press it right here and this window pops up. Now you're, you're seeing the recording process and not the actual menu. Unfortunately, this one doesn't record itself and I think that makes sense. So I made a snapshot and this is how it looks like. Um, if you're recording the full screen, then you just simply push the full screen. If you want to record a uh, specific ratio with specific dimensions, then this, these numbers will show up after you press custom. And probably one of the best advices I can give you, one of the most important advices is always check that audio is on. Otherwise, you'll experience the pain of recording 15-minute videos and simply talking to the air because it won't be recorded enough. I've been through that, unfortunately. So anyway, this is the Camtasia Studio. Then some of the times you don't need to actually write anything on screen, so you only need to record the voice for the video. In that case, you can simply download Audacity. It's free, unlike Camtasia Studio. And this is Audacity. It's, it's fairly intuitive. It's really, really easy. So this is a recording button. I, I, I don't I I don't think I need to explain this, but somehow I'm I'm still doing it. So anyway, it, it's fairly easy. This is the stop button, but if you stop, then you cannot continue recording this track. If you push recording again, see it's it's a it's a different track now. Anyway, I shouldn't be explaining this. Um so I'll go on to the next one. And maybe I'll go into a bit more detail in the next video. Yeah, yeah that's better. Then uh, sketchbook. This is the software that I use to write. So this is how it looks like. And I usually use Pro. So it's Sketchbook Pro because Pro is better. Um, well, it's better because it gives you uh, some of the better tools and also it gives you the, um, what do you call it? So it, it helps you resize the canvas and that's really important and useful in Can Academy videos and in, in screencast videos when you where you simply write. So I think I think you should get the pro version. I think it costs twenty three dollars per year, I'm not sure. Um and this this says it goes free and I'm not sure what this is about. So maybe maybe it's free now. I don't know. And also, um, the microphone that I use is this one. Of course, there are many, many micro microphones you can get, but this is the one I use, and, well, judge the voice you're hearing yourself. Uh, also, I, I don't simply use this microphone. I have the filter, and just a week ago, I got this mic stand. I should have gotten it uh, two or three years ago, but uh, I don't know. I, I didn't think of it. it. It really makes your life easier, trust me, and it, it's, it's not that expensive. So anyway, this is the microphone I use, and then there comes the tablet. Um, this is the tablet, and th the only reason I chose this tablet is because of its size, and that's it. I simply prefer the larger, larger ones because the way it maps to the screen, it makes it easier for you to write a better uh, letter or a better number or draw better. Well, at least it does so for me. So um, if 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 it's not that easy for you to do uh, all of this work on a small tablet, then I'd advise getting a large one. Um, by no means is this the best tablet. I, I simply because I, I'm not sure about the other ones. I I haven't researched that uh, researched it that deeply, but I use it and it's pretty cool. So these are the major players, the major equipment and software, but there are also some of the others. For example, in several videos, Sal uses a calculator, and uh, I found the free version of it, but now I can't. I don't know why. 
Uh, it's called TI-83+, Plus, not the trusty old TI-85, the one that Sal uses, but still it does the job. And also, I know that, for example, uh, Apple computers and a lot of other computers and probably even win anything that has Windows 10 uh, has its own snipping tool, but I don't, so I've downloaded this uh, fast screen capture, I think it's called. And it's really easy if you want to, for example, select a portion of the screen, you just press this guy, and then, and that's it. And you can manipulate it any way you want. Also, you can simply press um, the button on your keyboard to print screen or something like that it's called. It, it, it has initials or shortened versions of words. And when you press it, it just records, I mean, snaps the whole screen. So anyway, I think, I think this is it for the software and equipment part. If I'm missing any details, well, it'll come up in the next video and also we'll probably put this in the description as well. So I'll just finish this part with the best advice I can. Again, always check that your audio is on. I'm, I'm not even joking. It's, it's horrible when you record a large video and suddenly discover that it ha doesn't have any sound.